Hey to the Lance Corporal Joe Hartley here, bringing you a scenario from the Cold War Pack called Murder Rifle Battalion Training Scenario. And isn't it a thing of beauty? In front of you is all the units of the uh, Murder Rifle Battalion, reinforced with a company of uh, uh, tanks. And today what we're going to do is to uh, watch um, uh, the Soviets conduct a uh, deliberate attack against uh, US occupied uh, ridge lines. I'm not going to do a uh, real-time planning of this, but I just want to break it down into step-by-step uh, step according to how the uh, uh, scenario briefing notes um, suggest uh, how to run this uh, uh, operation. And uh, we'll talk about the results at the end and um, uh, ways to improve um, uh, the plan that I did um, of the Battery Rifle Battalion Deliberate Attack. So let's um, move on to the first step. First step uh, that this designer suggests is to establish um, a fire plan, and in this step, I'm going to combine uh, two batteries of um, these 122mm howitzers. And as the uh, guidance suggests, I'm going to put a uh, linear barrage down um, 600 metres uh, long. That's quite a quite a long uh, barrage, but um, heavy, uh, long, and uh, general because we know there's tanks amongst uh, the trees there and we'll do it uh, for um, uh, in five minutes time so it's what I want to, I want to um, coordinate uh, all the fellows until uh, uh, with the tank and the um, ATG enforcers so I'll go ahead and put that. also get uh, one um, battery of uh, howitzers and one battery of uh, the rocket um, artillery, and we'll do a similar barrage across the uh, uh, front of the um, uh, this part of the hill. Just maybe just want to uh, do that again. The near target, the front, three hundred. 30 meters heavy, uh, long, and five minutes. Confirm. And uh, we've got uh, two batteries of uh, mortars. The um, guidance suggests uh, smoke for these mortars. Uh, but uh, instead, I'm going to um, put these because of this. Uh, Barrage is quite a long uh, distance, and we'll put um, two uh, extra barrages here. Heavy, medium, five minutes. Um, and we'll put the uh, second battery of mortars uh, right in here. Actually, I'll cancel that and move it a bit forward. This tank is a, or whatever's there, is a target. 100 millimeter radius, heavy, medium, five minutes. That's our artillery plan. Our BTRs with uh, empty tubes. So I'll move off uh, to the point. Side before um, we can get there. It's a miss. Hopefully, they don't fire off all their uh, 
the ammunition before they end. The New Americans give us some return fire with um, the BTR skyliner against the uh, top of the hill. Not bad news, probably the uh, ammo carrier. Time to move our tanks up. So, with the artillery landing, we can uh, move our, our vehicles using the Hunt Command to the top of the hill, top of the ridge. Hopefully, they'll get there before the artillery uh, stops. Some of the uh, ATGMs on the right flank have relocated um, further down the hill so they can get better eyes on some of the uh, right wing of the, uh, of the Russian, uh, Russian front and uh, spot those uh, couple of um, uh, vehicles there that are going to cause a bit of problems. Who can see that? ATGL. AGL, I should say. Nervous time. Penetration. Weapon mount must have been a tow. Penetration, front hull, tank. Some of these guys need to be Especially if they can get eyes on the, the right flank. ATGM's going out. Penetration, tank, tow vehicle, it's being hit. Three tanks. Penetration, it's gone. Oh, artillery's coming down. Counter battery. Well, I should say counter. Uh, SPG, although they're basically useless. Get these guys pushing forward. I'm going to do uh, bounding uh, overwatch. One platoon moves uh, ahead. Another platoon, um, or two. Keeps them in uh, on their toes. These guys really tank target magnets, so I'll keep the ATGMs um, nice. Oh, here comes a tow. Hit the front turret, destroy it. Hull destroyed. Got those. Penetration. ATGM going out. Hit front hull. Hit, hit. Jeez, the yeah, guns there. Hammered or oh, penetration on the left. Nothing to do but to uh, keep going. Yeah. 
Looks like Russian Front 1941. Uh, Except the Russians even have uh, 264s. How close should I get? Not sure. Let's wait until we get it. Uh, what's the pressure? Uh, Russian flank um, count uh, two two uh, launcher tank hunters and uh, five uh, M60s uh, destroyed um, with one uh, moving uh, spot uh, center left of the um, attack uh, corridor and on the right flank um, you can see one tow hunter, tank hunter with tow equipped and five uh, M60s on the uh, right hand flank um, as well. And we've got a second uh, tow hunter destroyed, uh, tank hunter destroyed on the uh, far right of the Russian uh, attack zone. I believe that's um, all the vehicles bar one. Uh, typically, Americans have got, well, they've got OBA, so they've got spotters still going. And uh, they have um, this body round coming in. And uh, they have uh, infantry um, uh, as well, somewhere out there. But now's the right time to um, bring up the uh, BTRs. And here they come, the BTRs. Here's some American artillery uh, coming in. So, uh, might need to put our own back onto the uh, uh, ridges in front of us. And just to deal with any uh, pesky uh, survivors from the initial uh, barrage, we've uh, called in um, some extra uh, help. With the three batteries of 122 and the uh, rocket out can't do the rocket artillery, three batteries of the 122, and uh, we've been to, uh, and we've actually added um, a linear barrage across the uh, right hill as well, just as a bit of uh, help. Getting taking some um, American artillery fire. Um, center. Trying to range in on our uh, BTRs. If we push the uh, BTRs up too soon, we'll um, make them targets um, for um, artillery. So I'm happy for them to land in uh, front of us until um, we get our own uh, barrage going, and uh, then we can push uh, push forward. This. Um, fire here from the Americans is uh, presumably designed to uh, catch the vehicles as they're moving um, across that uh, open ground. I'm not sure why they don't just um, target the hill. Well, spoke too soon. These guys um, moving down the hill a bit. This is the pressure of um, being able to respond to um, straight away in a real time environment. We can um, just uh, simply move ahead. We'll have to uh, unload soon, though. This is the target uh, command to check the range. It's about 600 meters, so a bit close, a bit far away. Yeah. It's good that we moved. A bit far away for the um, uh, to dismount the uh, infantry there. 600 meters. Comes the artillery, but we'll just. Uh, 
We go gently, gently. Sneaky, sneaky. The boys are advancing across the open steps. Bring out to fire. Artillery is still coming down. And the way where they're rushing through smoke. Now we can move the tanks and the infantry up. And um, once the artillery is stopped, and uh, crush that objective, um, of course, if you this is still based, you confused. It's another day of the war. Seems to be the final stages of the attack on the ridges. Our boys are assaulting the tree line. On both sides. So it seems like uh, the Americans are surrendered before um, we could really uh, move our tanks onto the objective. But the Soviet army earned a total victory. Uh, two tanks lost, one armoured vehicle lost. Uh, only 22 men killed and 10 men wounded compared to the 100 men killed and the 35 wounded of the US much of which uh, has come from the artillery state of play on the um, right flank the Soviets are just um, about to climb up to the um, crest of the hill got some uh, BTR support um, not much left from the Americans, all on the reverse slope, wounded, destroyed vehicles, a uh, Vulcan, two Vulcans, which would be pretty nasty if we had to run into those, and some scattered um, infantry defenders. On the right, or oh, sorry, on the left um, hill we had uh, more Vulcans, two Vulcans which would have been nasty, um, and some bunch of HQ units and an M113 command or a, a uh, M577 command vehicle which um, is really just a target. Um, infantry left fighting uh, one man, one wounded M60 gunner, a um, red eye SAM team and the um, looks to be scout who could access um, artillery potentially. The Americans were um, putting artillery right up close to their own lines. Um, as you can see, some of the debris flying um, here. From the um, Russian side, I believe there is a uh, an immobilized uh, tank somewhere. We've got one tank which has got uh, damaged uh, tracks. This fellow is not moving very fast. He's fine, this guy's got some damaged um, optics and so on. Just looking for the immobilized um, tank. There he is. Did a great day's work though. M60 and an M150. Nice to see. And we had um, all our tanks um, put in some work. Um, some some uh, guys or another casualties m150s um, m60s um, really good job from them do so want to check um, the our observers to right at the back 50 casualties and one uh, m150 tank hunter From that observer, did the other observer have a roll? Yep, 13 casualties and one uh, jeep. So they, uh, between them, 65 casualties, which is practically half of the um, half the American infantry um, casualties uh, were caused by them. 
It's a random look through uh, the BTRs. A few casualties uh, here and there, seems to me. One casualty infantry. Did very little, very little, which is fine because uh, they're really there to mop up. On this side, I don't expect these guys to have no casualties. Combat victories. Really, most of it's caused by the artillery. So, just a uh, bit of a reminder of what the uh, steps are. Firstly, um, get your fire plan sorted out. Uh, put your aid to dink uh, guided missiles um, in their um, locations. And your automatic grenade launchers. Other support weapons like SPG 9s and uh, so on, scouts. Work out the enemy template. Uh, wait until the artillery lands, then as it's landing, uh, move your tanks um, covered by the fire to the to en masse. So don't just put uh, one tank up at a time, put uh, nine. And then uh, roll your tanks forward, blasting any anti-tank weapons or um, vehicles that you can uh, see. And advance the uh, BTRs behind them uh, when there's no more anti-tank uh, fire which includes from dragons the BTRs will be able to um, advance um, safely with the infantry loaded and uh, once the BTRs are within uh, shouting distance of the tanks unload and um, then they can push the infantry up uh, onto the uh, positions and um, mop up from there um, then through the gap infantry um, behind uh, the tanks and I'll put you, I've got um, three BTRs and the platoon of uh, infantry here behind the uh, three lead uh, tanks. And uh, they would push through the gap, uh, secure um, any infantry uh, remaining on the, on the edges to cover the um, vehicles and secure the objective zone. So that's a um, pretty amazing ride. Uh, two tanks lost, and most two of those, one was to a tow, I think, and the other one was maybe to um, artillery. So what would we think if um, the Soviets advanced without the artillery and the ATG units in support? Just as the uh, tanks alone, without um, obviously the BTRs, they would be um, pretty uh, much dead meat. Um, if we run the uh, tank company up over the hill, we can um, see what happens. So I lost about two tanks in the first uh, minute, three tanks, four tanks. Possibly um, Russian to advantage if uh, they keep moving. Nice hit and a ricochet. So two, three, four, five tanks gone. Tanks destroyed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. Six tower tanks are uh, still alive. And of course, if you wait too long in one uh, place, uh, American artillery um, starts to zero in.
Well, there's uh, five tanks left, and it uh, seems like the US fire has stopped, so that's his fire. So obviously there's a total defeat for the uh, Soviets here. Uh, they lost uh, seven tanks and the US uh, lost nine, so pretty much uh, uh, one for two um, ratio. Uh, the battlefield, as we've um, seen it from the um, Soviet side, from the American side, let's get rid of the trees. Knocked out the left side um, uh, set of vehicles, um, platoon, left side platoon. It's all operating. Two tow vehicles still operating. M3, M60 is gone. I think the Americans would be uh, quite displeased uh, with, her, with the uh, results of this one. They really need to uh, take out two or even three times as many tanks as the um, uh, Soviets uh, do of theirs. But even so, uh, you know, they're just leaving, losing um, too many. But um, his right hand side platoon of tanks is um, only one left, one tow vehicle left, the other one uh, uh, destroyed. I think the uh, Russians have just lost too much. Um, they could really do a lot better than uh, uh, if they combined, um, if with they just rush over the hill attack, they could have combined uh, with the artillery that would have uh, had a much better outcome. So that's uh, one way to do it. Um, probably not the right way. It's probably also worth uh, making a few comments about the US uh, deployment. Um, in this uh, motor rifle battalion uh, training scenario and uh, we go to the US setup and uh, take away the trees um, we'll see uh, all the American uh, vehicles um, basically set up on the forward slope um, of this uh, tree hill only the uh, M150 uh, uh, tank hunters set up uh, so they can roll forward and roll back as we know that when they fire their toe they'll reverse and reload in my mind, that's uh, quite a poor setup. All the tanks um, are probably likely to, or a better setup would be to have them behind the crest, infantry behind the crest, um, wait out any uh, Soviet barrage, and then uh, move down into foxholes or um, into keyhole positions so that they're dragons, if they have any. They don't seem to have any dragons here, which is unusual. Um, with their dragons, they could pop off at advancing uh, Soviet uh, forces. So that's, um, to me, a, a quite a poor um, setup. Um, what uh, possess the, what would possess an American um, commander to do that would be um, uh, beyond me, unless they're really confident that um, uh, the tanks coming over the hill um, unsuspecting their presence. A couple other things um, here, you know, the National Training Center scenarios uh, train the US player to play in a reverse slope and a defensive uh, posture and to wait out um, Soviet attacks before um, advancing um, themselves. And in this scenario, there's no flanks um, which to exploit until the Soviets are in the um, center of the uh, gap here. Um, so the Americans can't find, uh, get the defensive uh, fire on them. What was good about the uh, US um, defense was the artillery, very responsive. A um, couple of observers, three observers at least um, that I can see. And uh, if one of them gets uh, knocked off by the um, Soviet barrage, then uh, um, the others will bring in fire right up um, uh, on the close to their own positions which is um, pretty uh, useful but maybe you've got some comments about the uh, US setup um, be great to hear them too and just some uh, quick final comments um, the template for the attack is uh, step zero uh, scouts out template the defense 
Force was which wasn't needed in this uh, scenario because the Blue Force are pretty well identified. Step one, do your artillery plan. Step two, uh, deploy your um, ATGMs and AGLs uh, on the flanks or anywhere they can get line of sight over the um, defenders. Step three, uh, land the artillery. Step four is uh, whilst the artillery is landing, advance uh, the tanks to the crest and confront the um, defence whilst it's being suppressed and have all tubes of the um, tank company available um, um, at once for maximum firepower. Uh, step uh, five is to um, advance uh, the tanks until uh, they've destroyed any ATGM, AT uh, assets, ATMs, tubes, tow launchers and so on. And uh, step five is to uh, push the BTO infantry uh, forward when there's um, no more uh, uh, anti-tank uh, resistance. And uh, step six, mop up and um, reform and move on to the next one. And obviously the advice here is where the paper's written on. Every plan uh, has to be adapted to the, the local forces and the enemy are facing the terrain and the time and uh, might have a battlefield in different stages so scouts might be needed on the uh, left or right flank whilst the um, centre is being hammered by artillery. So it's um, very much uh, every uh, commander has to make their own uh, destiny. So we'll leave it there and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Like, comment and subscribe. Cheers. Yeah.